So for this next installment in How to Bend PVC, I'd like to show a little bit about sleeving up. You might notice on our website that we offer something called an extra sleeve, and I feel that needs a little bit more illustration than what we give there. So here it actually is. If you notice, this is a regular half inch, nine foot bender from PVC Bendit. And what I have around it is another piece of metal hose to bring it up to a larger diameter for bending. This is a one and a quarter inch hose and it'll help the same way that your normal sized half inch bender will go up to about one and a quarter inch pipe and still make a smooth bend. This one and a quarter inch hose will bring you up to about two inches and you should still be able to get really good bends out of it. So what we do, just like any other bend, take our pipe. This is one and a quarter inch schedule 40 PVC, just like anything else you might get at the hardware store. And here we go. Slide it down the bender. And in this case, I've got a small bend station, so I, I can't close it, so I'm just not going to worry about that. And when you order a sleeve, we'll generally send you a larger bend station so that you can fit bigger diameter pipes in it. But I'm not too concerned about that. I know that this will work just fine, so I'd rather show it to you how it is. So now we wait. Just like any other bend, you want to keep rotating the pipe while it's on the bender. Even though this brings it out and brings it a lot closer to the surface of the pipe, the bottom where the bender is actually resting is still making solid contact, and so naturally it's going to be warmer down there. So by rotating, you always you'll ensure very even heat through through the pipe. So it looks like it's about ready, but we've still got a little bit longer to go. So it is so important that we will repeat this every time. Put your gloves on before you take the pipe off the bender. That thing is hot, and right now it will burn you if you touch it with bare hands. So be careful about that. So what we have here is one and a quarter inch pipe softened up. I didn't, I could have made this a lot softer, but for what I'm trying to show right now, this will do just fine. Now one thing you'll see when working with any diameter of PVC, but it's truer with larger pipes, and the larger you get, the truer it is, that as you make your bend, you'll notice that the pipe will kink when you push it beyond a certain point. Now you can use in your forming system ways to take those kinks out, just by applying horizontal pressure or pressure across the kink it will make it go away. And you do need to be careful. You know, obviously if you're not running water through it and it's only an SD, usually it's just, if you are running water, it might be necessary to choose a different size of pipe in order to get the right kink-free bend for you. So it's something to be very mindful of. This one, I guess we don't really have a purpose for the bend. So I'll go ahead and let it harden up just to illustrate what happens. I think that about does it.